Yeah, one of the great training grounds for a governor is I think every governor and every leader ought to be a basketball official. And I did, uh, I was a basketball official for uh, 11 years. I actually refereed Michael Jordan back in um, 1984 in an ACC All-Star game. And I called traveling on Michael Jordan. And if you're willing to call traveling on Michael Jordan in North Carolina, you're willing to make the tough decisions for the future. That's what leadership is all about. Making the tough calls that might irritate um, the populist in the short term, but in the long run, maybe I had an impact on Michael Jordan not traveling as much down the road when he won, I think, six or seven championships for the Chicago Bulls. One area of competition where we were losing in North Carolina was our taxes. Our taxes were too high and we're not competitive with our neighboring state or the rest of the United States. So I had to make the tough short-term decision to say we need to reform a tax system that's over 60 years old, that doesn't attract uh, business the way it should be, that doesn't attract entrepreneurs the way we should in North Carolina. Because North Carolina is the greatest state in the United States of America. The best governors, the best leaders are those who get out of the government bubble and see what's really happening on the ground. Go talk to the farmer. Go talk to the entrepreneur. Go talk to the mechanic in assembly line and learn firsthand the pressures that they're under. They matter every day, and we've got to make sure as governors and as leaders that we don't get in their way and we don't hinder their fulfilling their potential, fulfilling the skill set that they bring to society and allowing them to raise a new family to make a difference. Success is taking advantage of the skills that each individual brings, the attributes. And my goal is to make sure that every person can fulfill their potential. And the fact of the matter is some people's potential is to go get a four-year college degree and become a teacher or a professor or a, a lawyer or a doctor. But other people's skill set is to become a plumber or a mechanic or electrician or a nurse. And I respect those skills just as much as I respect a skill to become a lawyer. Not only that, but our marketplace needs it. And if, if in America and if in North Carolina, we quit making things and building things and fixing things and innovating things, our economy is gonna be in trouble. So we need to make sure we have this labor force and reward this labor force that is desperately needed in the United States at this point in time. I don't think change is gonna come from Washington, nor should we expect change to come from Washington. Change is gonna come from those that are closest to the people. The change is going to come from the entrepreneur who's creating a new business. The change is going to come from the farmer who's trying to think of a new way to grow their crop in a more efficient way. The change is going to come from the engineer that's going to create a new piece of equipment that enhances our competition against China or Vietnam or India. The change is going to come from the nurse that uh, comes up with a new valve which will help save lives. That's where the real change is going to come from. It is Republican governors that are driving America's comeback.